Hi and welcome back to Rachel Reads. I am the aforementioned Rachel and I love reading and all things bookish. So today I have some arts and crafts <laughs> plans. Um, I'm really looking forward to this because it's a fun, I've got a fun activity planned to get a bit creative. My nerdy ink dust jackets for the Akita series and also Throne of Glass arrived a few weeks ago and I am loving these, first of all, they're stunning. And I decided that I wanted to paint all of the edges for these. I've started doing some of the Throne of Glass ones just in plain colours to match each of the dust jackets but I had an idea to go one step further for the Akita books and try and paint these to match the stained glass effect. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. It sounds kind of ambitious if you're watching this. I guess it turned out okay and I was willing to share it. Um, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is try and draw the design that I want in pencil on the edges to give myself some guidelines. I'm kind of nervous to stuff it up already. I've already done some book painting. Like, I know it's going to be okay. Well, kind of, I kind of know that it's going to be okay. And then I'm going to try and draw in all of the sort of stained glass. There's like a few sort of different styles of shapes that's been used in this. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for yet. Okay, so that is the design done for the like main edges. I haven't decided what I want to do on the top and bottom yet, whether I continue the pattern or I just paint them red or I just paint them black. Um, we will see how I like this and how time consuming it is. I want mine to really look like the continuation of the dust jacket so I'm going to mix up a few different shades of red to use So it didn't take much blue at all to go a very, very deep burgundy red. That's definitely the darkest color that I want. It's like almost brown, but the dust jacket does have some of that in it. selection the cover definitely doesn't go into like lighter pinky eye tones so I think that's gonna work pretty well okay so what I'm gonna have to do is paint it in small sections and then dry them and then keep going with the painting <laughs> because if they dry well like this the pages will stick so this could take a little while I think but we will see how I go.
I was worried a little bit about some of the shapes blending together, especially since I noticed on the dust jacket that a lot of similar colors are next to each other. And I wanted to see how it would start to look with the black lines in over the top. I was also worried that they were going to be really hard to paint, but I've done some of them with a 0.3 fine liner and I really like the look of that. I think that's going to work um, a lot better than trying to paint it and the black lines <laughs> makes like a lot of difference in getting the shapes looking more identifiable. Uh, so far, so good. It's just taking a really long time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm very happy with how it's turning out. It does take a long time, so I think I'm gonna do the bottom and the top all in black instead. The acrylic paints dry really fast and you don't want it to dry out um, until you can like fan it to stop them from sticking together. pause in between and just fan all the pages. Already you can hear it kind of sticking. So dry them off. Okay, I'm honestly so stoked with how this turned out. It matches the design in the stained glass window really nicely. The colors really pick up all the different shades of red. I do wish the rose in the center, like I had drawn it a little bit more. So for Mist and Fury, I noticed that the design in the window is like a little bit more like mist or water so I tried to mimic a bit more of that in the design that I did and this one has the night court insignia as the centerpiece it doesn't look that different from how I did the one for a court of thorns and roses but that does have more like these little circle bits and this kind of cut out shape so they are slightly different and then when it came to wings and ruin it has like a much more swirly design um, so i tried to copy that and i decided to put the cauldron as the centerpiece and hopefully i can do frost and starlight and silver flames a little bit different as well so that they all look unique and it looks deliberate and it doesn't look like I have made a mistake but we'll see how we go. I'm gonna grab all my purple and pink paints now. I've got two working on silver flames which has a sort of flame-like pattern in it and I am kind of completely fixated on this project. These are not a quick thing to do. They have been taking me a long time, but I'm really liking how they turn out.
the painted edges are now done. They turned out better than I could hope for. I am so happy with them. I really feel like they match the covers really well and they were just so much fun to do. I got really invested in this painting. I'm so focused on it and it was just really fun to see it all slowly come together. My favourite one I think is actually Wings and Ruin. I love the colours on that one. I really like how the design is more swirls and I think the little cauldron as the centerpiece turned out really well. So even though I am definitely not a book painting expert if you've ever wanted to paint your books uh, go for it it's so much fun and it's really easy to do and then you have something completely unique sitting on your shelves thank you so much for watching along with this transformation please like and subscribe if you would like to see more from me and have a wonderful day bye